your image or face or reputation is very important. Um, first of all, it influences our self-esteem. When we're embarrassed by something we've done or said, that makes us feel bad. And when we offend others through our actions or words, they're less likely to cooperate with us. They, they may be angry at us. And so it's important to maintain a positive reputation. That's difficult to do for several reasons. Um, first of all, we're human beings, and so we make mistakes, and sometimes those mistakes will offend other people. Secondly, um, we live in a world of limited resources, and when we disagree about who should get the money or the corner office with a window, uh, that can have implications for our face. Communication is important because communication is the means that we use to try to repair our image, our reputation, or our uh, face. And there are several broad strategies that you can use. In my theory, there are 14 specific ways, but I, I think you'll find them familiar. You can deny and say, I did nothing wrong, or what I did was not harmful in any way. You can try to make an excuse, and, oh, I didn't know, Oh, I, I wasn't told that I needed to be at this meeting at this time. We can also, although we don't like to do this, we can apologize and say, I made a mistake, I'm sorry, please forgive me. And we can also try to repair things. So your image or your reputation or your face is a very important commodity and it influences how we deal with other people and how they deal with us. And when we inevitably offend other people, whether we've actually done something wrong or whether we've done something that they think is wrong, then we need to use messages to try to repair our reputation. We've done a lot of research on this in a variety of contexts. We've looked at image repair by companies and corporations. We've also looked at image repair by politicians uh, and government officials. We, we've even looked at image repair by governments and countries. And there are a lot of things that we find in common. People don't like to admit they're wrong, although when they're forced to do so, they will. You may have heard we had an American president named Bill Clinton who had a sexual affair with intern Monica Lewinsky. And at first, he denied, well, I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't have an affair with Monica Lewinsky. And that's a very human thing to do. But eventually, the evidence came out, and he had to admit that he'd done something wrong. And so at that point, he apologized and said he was sorry, um, and things got better for him. Some people never forgave him, but other people were willing to do so. Mm -hmm.